I am very fortunate that I have the opportunity to shoot long range fairly frequently, and some of the guys I shoot with have been building 1,000 yard capable 223 AR rifles. Most of them have 20 inch barrels, usually made by Proof Research, and they are successfully getting the 223 round out to 1,000 yards in the AR platform. In a desperate effort for once in my life to not fall into peer pressure and buy yet another new rifle for this one task, I took a look at the ARs I already have and decided to see what I could do with what I always felt was one of the most accurate ARs I own, the HK MR556 A1. For those unfamiliar with this rifle, it is one mean machine. The HK MR556A1 is the closest a civilian can get to the coveted HK416 or the M27 infantry automatic rifle, the rifle recently adopted by the US Marine Corps. While this looks like a normal AR at a glance, it features a robust short stroke piston operating system that allows this gun to be more reliable in various environments and not need to be serviced as often. For this little test, it also has some key features that help in the accuracy department. Most notably, one of the legendary HK polygonal rifled barrels that is free floated and the civilian version is also free of chrome lining to help with accuracy. The entire barrel also has the slightest taper to it, meaning that the internal diameter of the barrel ever so slightly decreases from the chamber to the muzzle. It also features a pretty fast for AR's 1 in 7 twist, but that will help us stabilize heavy bullets which we will need to push for that extra distance. Speaking of heavy bullets, when you're trying to make a rifle shoot as far as it possibly can, quality ammunition is a huge part of the equation. You can have the greatest rifle in the world, but if you put crap in, you'll get crap out. I chose to go with Norma Match 223 77 grain. I'm a huge fan of Norma ammunition and use their stuff exclusively on 308 platforms. It has been continuously the most consistent and best performing 308 that I've found. If you've been watching the channel for a while, all those amazing shots that we've done with the POF Revolution and the Q-Fix have been done with Norma Match 308. So being the first time that I've ever actually bought Match 223, naturally I turned to Norma. I also knew we needed something really heavy to carry that bullet just a little bit farther to stretch those shots as far as we possibly can. So the first thing we did was take the HK MR556 to the 100 yard line and get a good zero in. We got some sub MOA groups. And that's a good starting point. And then it was off to 200 to see what we could do. All of these hits are gonna be on an eight inch plate. Well, as you can see, that's a really nice tight group on that eight inch plate. So now we're gonna step it back to 300 and see what we can do there. Well, as you can see, we easily got some hits on a man-sized target at 300. And then we got a couple on an 8-inch plate at 300. And even two on a 4-inch plate at 300. But I really didn't think any of that would be a challenge for either the HK MR556 or Norma Ammunition. But now as we step back to 500, we'll really see if the 16 and a half inch barrel of the HK MR556 has any issues at these distances and we'll see how well the Norma Match Ammunition performs.
If you can see it wobbling there, those are the hits. It's a half size IPSC target, so it doesn't really give off much of a ring with the 223 ammunition. But as you can see, the HK MR556 with the Norma ammunition is dead on at 500. Well, I was pretty impressed with that at 500, so let's keep on going back. Now we'll try some shots at 700 and see how this setup works at 700 yards. That was pretty cool and I'm super impressed with the way the HK MR556 A1 is working with the Norma 77 grain match ammo. We are getting some really impressive results. I always knew the MR556 was accurate, but this has exceeded any of my expectations. What's also cool is we got the bullet trace on film. I'm going to slow it down so you can see it a little bit better. But if you start looking in the lower left hand corner, you can see the bullet go up and arc into the target. We're getting good, consistent, accurate hits out to 700 yards. So there's only one thing to do. Let's go out a little further. Now we're going to back up to the 1,000 yard line and see if we can get the Norma Match 223 on steel at 1,000 yards with the HK MR556. This is a very difficult shot. A 16 and a half inch AR chambered in 223 really doesn't have enough steam left to hit a target effectively at a thousand yards, but here's what happened. Uh, just probably another uh, half mil up and half a mil up, half a mil up yeah. Because okay. you were down at the, at the base. And probably uh, 0.4 right. <laughs> Just above his head. To the left at nine o'clock. Hit it. Saw the dirt fly. Didn't see impact though. Hit it again. Well, it took a little bit to walk it in, but we did get some hits at a thousand yards. I don't know if you could see it or not, but there was a little splatter coming off on those last two hits. What that is, is when the bullet hits the steel target, it breaks up, causing a little bit of dust to fly in like a line at the bottom of the target, indicating a hit. Now, this is not something you can repeat time and time again. The bullet is more than likely subsonic by the time that it is hitting the target, but it can be done. I took my good buddy out a couple days later, and we were able to get more hits on target. In fact, I don't think he'd ever forgive me if I didn't document at least a few of his hits here. Pretty sure it was a hit. It was a hit. Hear it barely? Yeah. On this day, we were just barely able to capture some of the audio of the steel being hit. If you listen real carefully, you can hear it. Oh. 
it. So there you have it. We successfully took the HKMR 556A1 and Norma Match 223 77 grain ammo all the way out to a thousand yards. A pretty big feat considering it's only got a 16 and a half inch barrel. And I am really impressed with this combination. To be honest, I never thought we'd be able to get anywhere near a consistent regular hit at a thousand. And while it wasn't like something you could do every shot, it was something that you could do on a somewhat regular basis. Everybody always wants to know what else we were using. The scope is a Leupold Mark V HD 5 to 25. We did a video on it. You should go check it out. Very, very good scope. The bipod is an Atlas bipod. I love these bipods, probably my favorite bipod going. The suppressor is a CGS Group Hyperion. This thing is crazy quiet. Even this deer said he could barely hear it at 700 yards. Go check the video out on that too. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. It really helps us out a lot. Plus you'll get notified about new videos as soon as they drop. Want to find out what we're reviewing way before it hits the YouTube channel? Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. There you can see what's being reviewed in real time. If you want to help support Alabama Arsenal, the best possible way to do that is on Patreon. These videos are surprisingly expensive to make and every little bit is greatly appreciated and helps a lot. There's also gear available right below the video. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.